here from Blooming Well. Uh, welcome to my garden again. Um, today I'm here to talk to you about using recycled objects for planters um, to plant stuff in in your garden. Now this week is all about energy and the importance of using recycled things is that it costs a lot of energy to make things in the first place and if you use them and then throw them away there is no away. Away means they either go into a landfill site and cause pollution or they use a lot more energy, so electricity and water, um, to be recycled into something else. So the ideal way is to use it, recycle it in your garden uh, or in your balcony or windowsill just to keep on using it um, to grow plants in. Okay, so here's some examples. This little um, metal tr thing is, um, it comes in a set. And so I, I drilled Sorry. holes in it and I've planted some herbs in there. Okay, this one over here is old filing cabinet drawers, which are very, very solid. Now they've already got holes in. And as you can see, I'm growing tomatoes in them. And I've grown tomatoes in them um, for the last few years, I just put fresh compost in every time and they grow fantastically as you see. They're almost ready. So the great thing about using recycled things is that it's an awful lot of fun and it doesn't cost you anything. So you don't have to even think about um, spending any money. Now you see um, this plant is growing in an old tin. Uh, that's been in there for a few years and it's looking very happy um, so what you do is you take any tin and you just punch some holes in with a nail and a hammer so you probably have to get an adult to do that for you anything you use has got to have holes because plants don't like sitting with their feet in water they start to sulk other things you can use are um, these plastic trays that you get fruit and veg in, they come in all different shapes and sizes. The plastic trays that you get meat in. I mean, this one that I've got some moss in, that's absolutely lovely for putting on a windowsill. So that would work really well. So we've got that. Um, these pots, this is ice cream, a cardboard pot, a few holes in, a plant would be really happy in there. And you can decorate it you know you can paint it draw designs on it do all sorts of cool things um, I've got tomato growing here in a milk bottle um, I planted some carrots in this cold drink bottle and they're growing really well okay now one of the great things you can do is use um, a yogurt pot so this yogurt pot I've planted some coriander seeds in, okay? So it's got holes in the bottom, it's got some soil in. I'm just gonna give it a water, a good water. And then the plastic lid, you put it on top, and that is like a mini greenhouse. And then all you do is take your pen and write on the side uh, what you've planted. And that can just pop there, you can have a little row of them. And once they start to grow, you see the green on the top, you just take the plastic lid and they'll grow away quite happily on a windowsill. Um, takeaway containers, these foil takeaway containers, um, they can go in recycling, but they take energy. So put a hole in the bottom, Okay, and I'm going to plant some thing called lamb's lettuce, which is a lettuce that works really well in the colder months. Really fine seed. So just sprinkle it over the top like that. Okay. And um, just press it down gently, little sprinkle. Okay and a water. Now this one has got a cardboard lid so you can't really put the cardboard lid on the top because that would exclude light but you can use the cardboard lid 
to make a plant label. So, that works really well. And this should, if you put this on a windowsill or somewhere sunny, it's been very hot, that should, you should start to see green things appearing very shortly. Okay, the other thing you can use for um, plant labels is ice lolly or ice cream sticks. They work really well. Now, two fun things I'm going to do today are planting an old welly boot. Now, somebody's drilled holes in this for me and always make sure you ask an adult because the sole is quite heavy. So that one has had carrots planted in. So carrots obviously like to grow nice and long, so it's perfect for carrots. And carrots are good for planting now. And hopefully now you've learnt a lot about growing and stuff, you'll be happy to carry on and you can go out and get some seeds and really experience the fun of growing your own things. Two other projects you can do, look, I've got this old colander from the kitchen and you can see it's seen better days. So this one, I'm going to plant some more lettuce in. So I've got my lettuce seeds here. But I'm going to plant two different types of lettuce in this one. Just over the surface. Lettuce grows quite nicely in the cooler months because in the sun, sometimes it can um, suffer a bit. So this way, um, you make sure that you get, it's a bit happier in, in the cooler weather, so it should grow really well. A little sprinkle. So what I've done with this is I've just put some plastic in from a compost uh, bag with some holes in and just so the water can get through, filled it with soil and it's perfect. And I might tie some string to this and have it as a hanging basket with lettuce in, which would be quite good. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, but I, I'm probably out of time, but this is a good idea. Look at this cat food box. Now this is solid cardboard. So what I've done, I've taken the lid off, put it underneath with holes in, and put some plastic in. Okay, so I've done that. And that would look fantastic on a windowsill. So I'm going to fill it with some soil, some compost, and I think I might plant some herbs in this one. Um, so hopefully that's given you a few ideas and please um, send pictures of your, your growing to our Facebook page, get your mum or dad or adult to do that for you because we'd love to see what you're growing and um, I hope this has inspired you and uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye.